Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, it took him just over a year on the UFC roster to realize a piece of this UFC middleweight championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watch Israel fight that he has an ability to fight in so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of kneeing because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. You gotta have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. All right, so we get another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC, when it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, Fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in flypaper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hug or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Adesanya is two years his senior. He is the six-inch taller party. He will have a 10-inch reach advantage. All right, now, for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Mexican color, Russia is from Makacha. Okay, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Great punch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. 
All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Right punch is there. Nice punch there by Adesanya. Oh, big head kick there. He loaded up there on that high kick. He got him. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Adesanya gets hit with a kick. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guards of your opponent. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Nice kick. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Real nice body kick lands. Straight right, he misses. Pinpoint accuracy on the kick there by Adesanya. It's just hard to know what's coming, and there's no stop in this. I mean, there's no stop, and there's no tell. He's just at a different level when you're standing on the feet with Israel Adesanya. He's the last foul building. He's a character. He's... He, he... There. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. Fuck's done. his first test in elementary school. Huh. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Punch is blocked. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defense of wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allowed his opponent to get to his hips. And because of that, he's been safe. So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Got his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots. Oh, 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 this fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, he landed that kick. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch him go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he, oh, he might have got him with a choke. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. 
Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Listen to me. You lost that. You wrestle. Yeah, it's looking sluggish. You gotta set up your shot. Ready? Adesanya's a strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Adesanya. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Adesanya. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Give me some head movement. Give me some head movement now. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Oh, both. Both landed. So he's got his head here, looking to set up the guillotine choke now. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. tonight champ he was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it eventually his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission he did that and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon so there he is your winner by submission that could hold up as one of the better subs of the year near perfect execution tonight Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Islam Bokachev. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they...